Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Today I've got a lager for you. And it's one of the most recognisable uh, lagers in the world, I believe. Um, at least it's not the sort of thing that I'd, I'd miss anyway. As far as I know, it's all over the place. Um, and it's Cobra. And it's, uh, yeah, the original Cobra, which is now called Cobra World Beer. Um, and the reason I'm reviewing this one, because I had a bit of an epiphany when I was out at a curry house a couple of weeks ago. And I realised that I've never actually drunk this stuff without eating a curry. It, if I go to a curry house or go out for an Indian, the first thing they say is, would you like a drink? And I always say, can I have a Cobra? Because they always think, just stock, stock it. Um, so yeah, Cobra is it's brewed in the UK now and it's also brewed in India. And Cobra was made by... Um, I'm not sure if the guy himself is actually Indian. I think he might be, but he was he was a student over here in the UK. And he liked his beer, he liked lager, he liked ale, um, but he found lagers too gassy and they were stopping him from eating. Um, but then he found uh, ales too bitter so that they didn't partner the food well. So he wanted to design a lager that was smooth, that wouldn't stop him from eating, basically. And he came up with this stuff. And um, it's not the oldest beer in the world. I think it was only um, started up in the early 90s or something like that. Uh, but it's it's done very well for itself. It's now owned um, by Coors, Molson Coors. I think they've got like 50% of the company that they own. So it's brewed here in the UK and it's also still brewed in India, which is probably why it's in most curry houses you go into. So anyway, I've never actually drunk this stuff without eating a curry and it, I've always loved it with a curry. It's always complemented the food really well. And I suppose that smoothness is probably helping me because I usually go for about... And this is a big 660 milliliter bottle. I usually go for about two or three of these during the course of my stay in most curry houses. And um, it complements the curry very well. So I'm going to drink this for the first time, I believe, without a curry. So this is a bit of an experiment for me. Um, but yeah, enough waffling. Let's get this uh, beer out. There's the, uh, the bottle cap. This one is coming in at 4.5% ABV. Um, yeah. Always enjoy a Cobra. I've had a good day's work today, so uh, not much smoke when you open that one. So in she goes. And as soon as you open it, you get a slight malty aroma. There she is. Leave that there. So there it is. There's a Cobra. Gold lager. Not crazy amounts of carbonation on that one. Might be down to the glass. Uh, but it's got a good one to two finger fluffy white head on it. Um, yeah, golden lager. Just what you expect. It's getting aroma. A bit of malt. Lots of citrus aroma on this one. The ingredients on the bottle. Let's have a look. It just says contains malted barley and wheat. Don't actually see a list of ingredients. But never mind. So, yeah. But certainly a bit of citrus. Bit of lemon, bit of lime. Bit of malt. Kind of has a ricey kind of aroma. It smells very light. Not much. Not much smell on that one. But let's get a taste. Cheers. Oh. Oh, it does... Doesn't matter whether you're drinking it with a curry or drinking it without. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. So smooth. So drinkable. The aroma is kind of identical to the flavour, really. There's not crazy amounts going on with this. There's a citrusiness to it. There's a really, really light carbonation. I mean, it's got to be one of the most gentle fizz I've ever felt in a beer. There is the slightest bit of fizziness to this, the slightest bit of carbonation. It is thin, it's watery, it has a very thin body, really light carbonation, ridiculously drinkable. It's lovely. I challenge anyone to drink one of these and not just want to neck it. I, this is all I want to do now is just wolf this down, 
and yeah um it's it's um it's a stroke of genius this stuff it really is i just like i say i've always drunk this with curries and wondered why i never got too bloated or anything like that you know when you drink most lagers you can't eat because it just fills you up with gas and you're burping your face off and you become a bit of a disgrace basically this stuff has always been the opposite you've never had that i've never had that build up of gas it's always been really smooth complements the food really well and then drinking it without the food i can i can see why because i say it's just ridiculously smooth ridiculously drinkable it's the slightest bit of citrus slightest on arrival tiny bit of a a hoppy taste at the back end tiniest bit in terms of flavor there's not really much there but it's the mouthfeel it's the carbonation that slight carbonation that gentle fizz that kind of makes it ridiculously drinkable it's um i can't think of another lager that has that kind of mouthfeel has this kind of mouthfeel where it's just that drinkable i mean it's a 660 ml bottle and i'm that's going down no problem whatsoever. Now I fancy a curry. <laughs> I fancy a, a hot chicken ruby now. Do you know what I mean? A vindaloo or something. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I love this stuff. Absolutely adore this stuff. Um, as I say, now I've drunk it without a curry, I can now give it a good score without thinking about it. If you put, if I had a, if I had a chicken vindaloo in front of me, this would be a 10 out of 10. That, that would have even needed to do a review. But now I haven't got a curry with me. I've got no food with me. I'm just drinking this. I still want to give this a 10 out of 10. I really do. But I want to give it a 10 out of 10 for reasons that I've never given a beer that score before. It's just the most ridiculously smooth and drinkable lager I've ever tasted. There is no complexity to it. There is no mass flavour to it. There's no mass aroma to it. It's just perfectly drinkable you know it just there's enough there to kind of let you know you're drinking a beer at 4.5 percent abv it's not exactly a, a really light one you know there's a bit of booze there but you wouldn't know it's just beautifully smooth beautifully carbonated it's got a nice flavor to it there's nothing nothing you know offensive about this at all it's just really really drinkable and it's really well made stuff I could drink that all day, all day. On a hot day, that's got to be one of the best lagers going, easily. And with a curry, it is the best lager going, in my opinion. Um, I've had a Kingfisher as well. I had that with a curry once, and I tried it. I had both. I had Cobra and Kingfisher in the fridge at that particular restaurant. And I thought I'd change it up a little bit, go for the Kingfisher, and it just didn't work as well as the Cobra does for me um so yeah there's a recommendation for you go for a curry and have a cobra with it if you've not done it before have a cobra with your curry it is it'll change your life <laughs> um and yeah this this has opened my eyes a little bit without um without any curry drinking this on its own i still think this is a wonderful wonderful beer i really do um this is probably going to be a slightly unpopular opinion but i think it's fantastic so i'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 I'm giving Cobra a 10 out of 10. It's a Cobra World beer. Everyone's seen it. I would have thought most of you would have drunk it at some point. Um, yeah, controversial, but I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. I think that's absolutely fantastic. One of the most drinkable lagers you will ever find. So cheers. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.